a one tick kill for Arc Zombie. For Arc Skeleton. Hi guys, this is me again JR and welcome to Place by K. So today what I will be discussing is on grinding guide for Magnus Exorcismus Priest. For this video, we will be showcasing what are the skills, the stats, VR scores, and also the grinding spot in Orc Dungeon. So that my recommended level for grinding is level 57 but that's if you can already 2 hits the orc skeleton so how do you mean by 2 hits so if you can see here on the skills that's 1 hit and that's the second hit so if you are already able to 2 hits the orc skeleton that is the best efficient way for you to grind here so aside from that 2 hits I will be showing you how to do a 1 hit for this orc skeleton grinding okay so let's start with the uh, status that we have so as much as possible if you are level 60 you can grind here so we have conditions before you can grind here uh, I will be showcasing that as well so first would be the stats so for stats as much as possible you need to reach at least minus 78 percent variable casting time so why you need that because at least with that vct you will be able to cast at least two stacks of magnus on the ground so for the intelligence i would recommend adding for level 60 you will have around 65 to 68 intelligence so for the dex you can actually fix that for 50 at the moment so again int and dex you don't need to put higher dex for you to have a faster casting yes it does help but intelligence also provides minus variable ct so here i can show you adding adding dex plus int adds minus one percent but adding double int does not add vct so adding two decks does add minus one percent vct as well so uh what do we prefer of course we prefer to have intelligence to have additional magic attack and to have additional damage uh to our magnus exorcismus so we will put one dex and one in here and that provides minus one percent variable ct so uh next that you need to know what are the cards that you should have actually what i have here is a holistic it's a plus 10 holistic already and it actually has a enchantments as well so again what you need to do is to two hits the orc skeleton so there are various ways to do that aside from having enchantments or higher damage you can actually have number one would be the cards orc lady card this is very very important for you to achieve two hits for orc skeleton so it deals 30 percent more damage to orc monsters except orc lord and orc hero so it is very very important to have this for this grinding guy aside from that the other thing that you need for you to reduce your variable casting time so i would suggest for you to have magic coat and the magic boots combo so what it does is for magic coat it will lessen your variable ct to two percent then for magic boots that will add magic attack plus 10 but what we are aiming here is to have the magic damage three percent that's why we have that you can actually change this eden group cloak to uh cloak only so that it will provide int and dex so that's pure magnus sorcismus priest and also for the shield you can have this shield rather than the immune shield you can use the exorcism bible so just by crafting the exorcism bible provides five percent more damage against undead monsters so for every refinement of plus two it adds plus one percent damage to undead monsters so this one is also very very helpful so if you are uh, not able to achieve the two ticks magnus for orc skeleton you need to complete the magnus build which are magic coat magic boots and the cloak you can have that as well that would be great
we are done with the primary equipments next would be the accessories so for accessories if you can have clip as much as possible that would be great because of the dex plus one addition and the in plus two as well so for the card you can use any card um you can use greatest general or any cards that can provide um magic attack or magic damage i actually have rate card which provides a uh, uh, plus 5 magic attack and a plus 1% magic damage. It is 1.5% because of the uh, uh, Because it was awakened already. So the best card that we can have for accessory Would be the mimic card. What it provides is variable CT minus 2% So this one is better than other cards, but of course, it's very hard to get this uh, especially on snapping next would be the core that i would suggest for you to get it is very very important to have this core without this core it is very hard to achieve the two ticks for magnus by killing orc skeleton so first would be the exorcism boost so what it does is targets within the magnus exorcism range takes four percent more damage every time they are attacked by it so this effect can stack up to three times so this is one of the most important core for Magnus Priest. Next would be uh, the Exorcism Prediction. So as mentioned earlier, we are trying to lessen the variable casting time of our uh, scale. So this will actually help you a lot. So it reduces the fixed casting time of Magnus Exorcismus by 0.8 seconds and the global CD by 0.4 seconds. So having one tick Magnus for this grinding is very efficient. It will give you a lot of experience, of course, because we are just using a very little combat time. So next would be the co-processor activation. So what it does is once you kill an enemy, your next kill's variable CT and fixed CT is lessened by 8%. So that's level 2 only. So it will be higher depends on the level of this specific core we will not add the dimic because or the y core because it's very very hard to get can only be uh, obtained by a gacha and being mvp party not just the participation it should be mvp party so it will reduce your ct and fix ct 10 percent if that's level three so what i have here is 8% only because it's level 2. Okay, so this is one of the most important cores that you have. Divine Spike is actually okay, but we don't need that because it roots the target, but we don't need that. Our goal here is to get optimum amount of experience as much as possible and to kill the orc skeleton in one tick. Okay, so uh, remember the three most important cores that we need. I will show you how to do that. The problem is you will not be able to attain this by just doing auto attack. So what you need to do is use a macro. So let's start with that. So for my auto casting, what I only add is Blessing, Kyrie, and Heal. I did not add the Magnus. So for the Magnus, you need to use a macro or manually do it so that you can achieve it. So let's start with the first Magnus. So this will start on our third to fourth Magnus. Okay, second Magnus. Okay, just like that. So if you notice, the uh, casting time becomes 2.7 seconds only because of the core processor activation. So it is not always like that because during the time that to kill the enemy, that's the only time that it will trigger. So if you can notice now, in just one tick, the monster dies. So it's very important to do this manually because during using auto attack, it will actually not proc because um, it will just wait for its target to spawn before it will cast. So what we need to do here is to cast Magnus prior to the enemy's spawn time. So 
So you don't need any specific pet for this. You can actually use melee if you want, either melee or uh, Gridget. So no problem at all as long as um, the goal is for you to have at least uh, 3 seconds casting with core processor activation it will be 2.7 or less that would be better then um, the next would be the uh, uh okay so uh, I hope that uh, shows how you can grind um, uh, here how you how you can efficiently grind an arc dungeon uh, specifically orc skeleton monsters so um, as much as possible as well uh, you might need to get uh, skills that a have again as much as possible you might need to get um, items that provides global skill cooldown as well so for example this rabbit pipe it provides skill cooldown CD so for example this rabbit pipe it provides skill global cooldown minus one percent so that's one of the uh, um, equipments that you might need to get Okay, so here let me remove my equipments uh, so that uh, you can sh uh, I can show you that even without the uh, global skill see the reduction you can still do this um, method of grinding so what you need is actually the cores that's the most important thing for this grinding so as you can see you can still do a one tick kill for arc skeleton Okay, so for this, as you can see, I don't have any mouth equipment, headgear, I don't have that as well, I don't have mid gear as well, and I don't have costume and back wear. So the only items that I have are these things. So what you just need here, the most important items that you need is the combo of magic coat plus magic boots, the holy stick. So at least uh, you have holy stick not necessarily to have plus 10 of this plus 10 is good it provides 10 percent more magnus exorcismus damage but you can always use foods for you to be able to do a higher damage or provide higher damage and um kill the uh, arc skeleton instantly so um again just remember that you need this course to do this grinding So I hope that this guide help you guys grind your way to the top from level 60 and up. You might need to do some weapon modification and weapon enchantment uh, for you to have a higher damage here on Arc Skeleton. But again, the key things that you need here are the cores and also the Orc Lady card. Two Orc Lady cards as long as you can achieve the two hits for a single Magnus, that would be okay. That you will be able to achieve the one tick kill for orc skeleton so i hope this guide um help you thank you guys and have a nice day bye bye